Housing inmates cost more than a billion dollars every year for Wisconsin taxpayers. And while inmates are paying their debt to society, a chunk of prisoners' revenue comes directly from low-income families. Simply from talking on the phone. The I-Team looks into how Wisconsin families are bearing much of the cost. In the last year, many facilities transitioned to free video calls in place of in-person visits because of pandemic protocols to limit contact. But before, daily communication happened on these phones. And for the people on the other end of the line, paying for these calls was the difference between talking to a loved one or paying for groceries. I can't even phantom, you know, on how much money has been spent. But I do know I, I could have bought a house <laughs> by now. Weta Locke has two sons in state-run correctional facilities. They've been incarcerated for separate crimes since 2010. During the pandemic, families get two free phone calls and Zoom calls per week. She tries to call both of her sons at least three times a week, 20 minutes each call. Where every second counts. It adds up, Sean. In the state of Wisconsin, they charge six cents per minute for phone calls from prison. So a 20 minute phone call would cost a dollar and 20 cents. In Weta's case, she calls her two sons six times a week over the course of a year. That's $374 out of her pocket. And that doesn't even take into account the three to six dollars she's charged every single time she puts money into her account, which could happen a couple of times a month. That's six dollars plus putting ten dollars on the phone. That's $15.95 that one just doesn't have. Hey, my handsome son. Weta's son Jeffrey is serving 16 years for shooting someone during an armed robbery. These calls give him an opportunity to stay in touch with the outside world. How much do you look forward to phone calls with your mom? It's very important. It's very important and it's, it's vital to a man's mental health inside of you. Melissa Luden with the ACLU says these kinds of interactions are crucial towards breaking the cycle of going in and out of jail. So much so, in June, the state of Connecticut became the first state in the country to make inmate phone calls free. Being able to maintain those connections, but also, um, you know, being able to maintain a sense of, um, you know, what, what is everybody doing on the outside, uh, reminding them of who they are. I'm growing every day, so I like that's important that they understand that I won't be the same person that I was before I came here. Jails are disproportionately black in Wisconsin. Despite accounting for nearly 7% of the total population, African Americans make up roughly 38% of the state's prison population. And according to a study from UWM in Milwaukee, African Americans make just 42 cents to every white dollar. People may look at, look at that as being really minor and not, that's not a lot. That $15.95 makes a difference in whether you eat or don't eat. It can cost more for those serving lesser sentences in county jails. In-state calls in the Milwaukee County Jail are 21 cents a minute, more than three times the state DOC rate. And it's the same rate in Racine. But in Waukesha, it's 37 cents. And Kenosha, 50 cents a minute. And these facilities receive hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions, in revenue from these phone calls every year. In 2019, the State Department of Corrections made nearly $1.6 million from phone revenue. At the county level, the Milwaukee County House of Corrections pulled in more than $850,000 last year. Both departments declined interviews, but the House of Corrections provided a statement saying in part, they recognize the importance of maintaining communications between loved ones and individuals in our care. Make me proud. Weta hopes these free Zoom calls continue. <laughs> Otherwise, communicating with her sons may have to get cut down, and she's nervous about how it could impact their rehabilitation in prison. I love, you know, just being able to make him laugh, and he make me laugh. I feel like I'm going to do great things when I get out there. That's right. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher. Sean mentioned the state of Connecticut is now offering free phone calls for inmates. Several major cities have also made the change, including New York, San Francisco, San Diego, and Los Angeles.